guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today I'm going to show you guys how I make my cranberry salad. Now, I know that most of the time people, um, I guess, think of cranberries and immediately only think of Thanksgiving, but this is actually something that I serve not only during Thanksgiving, but Christmas as well, and well throughout the year because I absolutely love it and it's delicious so I'm just going to quickly go over the ingredients you're going to need the only thing I don't have laid out here um, in front of the camera is sugar so you're going to need some sugar you're going to need a bag of cranberries and these are the ones that I purchased um, you are going to want to chop these and put them in a bowl of course you're going to make sure you know you rinse them chop them you're going to need one tub of the original, here we go, original uh, Cool Whip. You're going to need one can of crushed pineapple. And you are going to need some chopped walnuts. And you're going to need some miniature marshmallows so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drain my pineapple and chop my cranberries I'm going to put those in a bowl and then I'm going to add my sugar um, let me double check on how much sugar that is um, one and a fourth cups of sugar and I'm going to let that sit for about a half hour and then I'm going to come back but I'll show it to you once I get it mixed and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, I have my cranberries and what I have done is chopped them up the best I could. They're really small so it is hard um, with a knife. Just be very, very careful. Don't cut yourself. I have one and a fourth cups of sugar in there. And then the one thing I wanted to show you was is you have to have crushed pineapple. So I have my crushed pineapple here, and what I do is I use one of these little strainer things from the Dollar Tree, and if you hear a buzzing noise, it's my husband, and he is hanging Christmas lights on the front of the house. So I put the crushed pineapple in here, and I just take a spoon and just make sure that all the juice is out. Of course, I've already done it, and I just put it in a bowl. What you want to do with this is... You want to take your pineapple and put it in here with your sugar and your cranberries. And what I like to do is give this a good stir to make sure this is all well and combined. And you want to put this aside, like just sit it on the table and just set it aside for about a half hour what this ha what happens is is the pineapple juice and the sugar and the cranberries they just kind of flavor each other and it loosens those cranberry flavors up because cranberries have a tendency to be really kind of like a hard berry this will kind of soften them up a little bit and get them more um more delicious so I just make sure that that is good and combined. I'll show you what that looks like. You see that there? And I'm just gonna leave this on the table for 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you what is next. Okay, now it has been 30 minutes since my um, sugar and my cranberries and my pineapple have been all together and combined. And I actually ate one of the cranberries by itself, and now I know why the sugar was necessary. It was kind of tart. But I still like that. I don't know why, but I like things that are slightly tart. So now what you're going to do is you're going to blend in one whole container of Cool Whip into this. And I could just eat the Cool Whip out of the tub. I love Cool Whip. Then you're going to add a half a cup of chopped walnuts and an entire bag of mini marshmallows. Try to get these out. There we go. Oh, yeah, I lost one somewhere. There it is. 
I guess I'll have to eat him. All right, so all you're going to do now is very simply combine all of these ingredients. You want to make this the night before, and you want to allow this to chill and allow all these flavors to infuse together overnight. So I'm eating, I'm actually going to eat this tomorrow um, afternoon. Mmm, that smells really good together. And I bet with those walnuts and all of that together, it'll be really, really yummy. So you just want to make sure that all of your stuff is folded together because, you know, you don't want to be dipping into it and, you know, not have everything combined because I don't know, with every bite of this, I would want a little bit of everything. So I'm going to put this in my serving bowl and pop it in the refrigerator and then when it is time to eat, I will pull it out and probably just give it a quick stir and it'll be ready to enjoy. So I'll be right back to show you what it looks like in the serving bowl. Okay, so I got my cranberry salad in my pretty bowl and I think it looks delicious. It smells absolutely divine. And all I'm going to do now is just simply cover it with the plastic wrap so that um, I can just put it in the refrigerator and let all of these wonderful, wonderful flavors infuse together and so that we can have a lovely side dish of cranberry salad. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will be talking to you again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.